Hello everybody, I'm Chris from Gold Tone. Uh, today we are going to be doing a um, Bela neck installation on a Gibson Earl Scrugg Standard Master Tone. Uh, a customer has sent this to us and the customer wanted a Bela neck with Rikard tuners and a bunch of other stuff. But uh, today we are going to be installing this neck. All right, so first thing we gotta do is take off this neck. I'm going to be using all the same hardware here. We're not gonna use any gold tone hardware. We're gonna use all the Gibson hardware stuff he's got here. So hanger bolts will be used again. Coordinator rods used again, of course. And um, he's gonna be getting all new planets and everything, so don't need any of this. Okay, so. All right, so first thing we gotta do is I'm gonna need to cut out a flange hole in this neck and give it a basic fit first before I really, really fit it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is take a impression of the wall that I'm matching this neck to. Okay, and looks like uh, we'll probably now I'm gonna set the neck just ever so slightly above this counter hoop here. Just ever so slightly up there. So When I do my drawing on here, I'm going to make up for that by putting this shape a little bit lower. So first thing I'm going to do is cut on our neck machine. I'm going to cut this area right here and this little area right here out. And then I will cut all this out. Okay, so now we go in the shop. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna cut with our neck machine right here, that cut, just a basic cut to get in there. So I'll have like a step. All right, so you can see it's a basic step here, okay? Now I'm gonna make this angle, and I'm probably gonna clean up the top cut as well because that's, uh, yeah, a little too much gap, a little too much, too much mass up there. Now, this is our special router jig for cutting flange cuts. Okay. Now, center the neck on here. I already have it, I already have the pitch of this table set for a 7 8 bridge, which is what is going to be going on this banjo. Can't go too deep in it because then we'll get a lot of blowout. So we've got to keep it nice and simple. Okay, now I need to switch the bits because the inside part of the flange cut needs to be square. So I'll be putting a square bit on there. Basically it. Okay, 
Now the good thing about our jig here is that I can just put this neck right back on there and make any adjustments I need to make. Okay, so looks like we need to open her up a little bit. Basically you're just gonna go little by little till it's nice and perfect. Try to take too much off at once and you got a big old gap. See, I'm gonna put a gap at the top here, at the top cut here. Not that big of a gap though. <laughs> so I got my angles good, so now I'm gonna bring the whole thing in, but I still am gonna leave a little gap here, maybe like a you know paper width of a gap there, just so we're not muting the counter hoop and we let it kind of vibrate with everything else. that will pull down. All right, looks like all is well. Everything matches good. If you want to see in there how nice that is, that all connects. There's no no big gaps or anything. Got a little gap right in there, but that's fine. That'll all pull down nice. So, yeah, I think we are good as far as fitting this neck. Now, once this all gets pulled down with hanger bolts and coordinator rods, Sometimes I might have to come back in here to do a little adjustment here or there because sometimes when all the pressure is applied, you know, and everything is, is as tight as it can be, sometimes the, the rim will warp a little bit, neck will warp a little bit, things happen. So sometimes I have to come back in here and do a little adjustment this way, that way, up or down, whatever. So for now, we're good. Alright, so how I put the hanger bolts in here, I got a little square nut and then I used the nut from the coordinator rod, tighten them both together, and then, and then just like that. Now I'll usually spend some time cleaning up all these edges and coloring them in and in those little, oh, little imperfections there and all of that. We clean all that up before we put it all together at first. But I at least need to see how good my fit is. And, ooh, that's a nice fit right there. And there we go, that's how you fit a neck. And then of course, obviously, the hardware. Coordinator rod, you saw how those were removed before. Easy as that. Okay, now you don't wanna get them too tight, you just wanna Get them fairly snug because you don't want to constrict your rim and lose a little bit of tone. But for the most part, there we are. That is how a bale of neck is fit to a Gibson pot. <laughs>